Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to another one of our daily devos. I'm thankful to be able to dig into God's Word with you guys, and, and that's the whole reason that we do these videos, right? We want to make it as easy as possible for each and every one of us to be able to dig into and interact with God's Word during this time when we're all home alone um, or home with our families. But um, if you haven't already done so, go ahead, grab your Bible, grab your phone, go to BibleGateway.com, whatever you want to do, and turn to Luke chapter 17. We're going to be looking at verses 20 through 37 for our daily reading today. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and pause this video and do that right now. So in this passage of scripture, um, Jesus starts talking about um, what the world is going to be like when he returns, right? What, what's going to happen for, for believers and non-believers when he returns. And he says, you know, first this, this generation here is going to persecute me, um, but when this is everything that's going to happen later when I return. Um, but I really want to focus on today the beginning of that passage, verses 20 and 21, and we, I want to see, I want us to take a look at how Jesus responds to the Pharisees who are who are asking him this question of what the kingdom of God is going to be like. Uh, and it says this, you know, Jesus replied, "The coming of the kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say, here it is or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst." So did you catch what Jesus is saying there? He's saying that the kingdom of God was already among them because he was there. The kingdom of God is there because Jesus himself was there. Um, and the Pharisees at the time were these religious elite um, who kind of, they, they had this this spiritual arrogance about them, right? And they, they had this sense of pride that stopped them from actually seeing that all the prophecies in the Old Testament and everything that they had been studying was pointing to the person of Jesus. And they were so consumed with their own pride that they they completely missed what God had for them and for what God wanted them to see and I think if we're all honest with ourselves you know that can happen in our own lives we can be so caught up in what we have going on and the busyness of our day-to-day -day lives and and just because we're all at home doesn't mean that busyness has stopped completely right we all have stuff that we still have to do um, but but uh, he was saying to the Pharisees that they were so caught up in themselves that they missed what Jesus wanted them to see. They missed that the kingdom of God was there with them. So I would love for us to focus on this week. What, is, what does it look like to focus on humility and selflessness to see what God has for us as opposed to just worrying about all the things that we have going on? There are so many ways that we could be helping people out and meeting needs both emotionally by just checking up on people and giving them a phone call or meeting some tangible needs by making sure your neighbors have toilet paper and food and all these other things that are going on. So, um, so let's continue to reflect on what it means to live with humility and selflessness in order that we can see the things that Jesus has for us.